everything is well machined and looking good. I don't want to put a single scratch or dent on this thing. By the way, before we get started, if you want to see all my videos about the Atom XL, then just type in Chris Viral Atom XL in the YouTube search and you will find all the videos. Initiating. Welcome back. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Saturday, another day, another chance to push hard. And the topic for this vlog is my review of the Atom Excel after one week. So let's get it. By the way, all the product reviews right here. Or watch them all. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my life special and worth living to the max. So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. I'm so intelligent. I forgot the phone in the flat. And also, I'm already using it for over like two weeks. Maybe at this point, you can check out the review on the Tech Magnet channel, the official review that I did. There is also a review review after one week in there worded a bit differently but what I can say so far is all in all it's a great device I like the form factor the design I love how it looks it feels amazing a good grip it's a solid piece of a phone the hardware itself I mean the camera is fine the speaker is fine I actually use it to watch YouTube videos I'm not using my at least I brought this one so my daily driver is a poco phone but the speaker on the Atom XL is definitely louder than this one and for example when I'm doing my morning routine brushing teeth heater blowers going on it's actually quite loud in, the, in my bathroom so it's a pain in the butt to understand this but the Atom XL is way louder so I'm actually using this. The display on the other hand isn't as crisp as you know from the specs overview. You can check it out right here. The pixel density isn't quite there. It's a bit lower but it's still fine and it's also not getting as bright. For me this is not really a problem and this is literally the only concern that I have with this phone. So everything else like the processing power and all of that is fine. The price point is amazing. So the screen issue is a totally acceptable drawback. Yeah, it's literally the only concern that I have. The screen isn't as high resolution as our phones, but yeah, the battery will last you so long. I mean, like, yeah, I can't complain about this phone too much. It's a great device. They came up with a great design and all in all, I think for the price point, it's it's actually not too bad. Although, as I said, I actually do like it so much. I certainly won't put this through rough conditions myself. I mean, everything is well machined and looking good. I don't want to put a single scratch or dent on this thing, but that's just me. Anyways, so definitely a thumbs up for the Atom XL and that's it for this one. In my next vlog, in the last vlog about the Atom XL, you can check it out right here. I will go through all the other reviews out there i will go through their key findings i will reflect them with my own opinion and yeah i guess i will see you there because that's it for this one smash the like button away smashing this phone would totally smash me bang the bell like crap to never miss product reviews and check the recent news on chrisviral.com and yeah that's it for today i will see you tomorrow